Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about romances I love that incorporate baking in them. Two of my main passions in life are romance books and baking and I love when they come together. I love them so much. So these are some of my favorite books ever. I absolutely adore all the baking elements and all these books. Yeah, it's either like a book where a character is very passionate about baking or one of them is actually a baker or they work at a bakery, whatever the case may be, baking is a large portion of this book. These books, sorry. <laughs> First one I have is Make It Sweet by Kristen Callahan. This is a romance between our heroine who is a actress who was recently killed off of a show that she was on, very Game of Thrones-esque. She was killed off, doesn't really know what to do, so she takes a vacation and um, she ends up renting a place that uh, the hero's grandmother owns. He goes to pick her up from the airport. That's where it starts, that's where they meet each other. Um, so she ends up staying on his grandmother's property while like for the next few months I think. She's a little shocked when she tries some of the baked goods at like dinner and it's like oh my gosh these are delicious and it turns out the hero, the ex-hockey player, made them. Like he loves baking. Um, he also has chronic migraines so I love the representation as well but he's had a few too many concussions on the hockey rink and so he has been unable to play and he's trying to find something he's passionate about on top of hockey so Baking is one of those things and oh, this one is just so stinking cute. It's like it's called make it sweet for a reason. It's very 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 sweet. But don't let the sweet factor fool you like this one's also hot so just thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> Next is a recent read of mine. This is Fake It Till You Bake It by Jamie Wesley. The heroine of this story she is actually known throughout America as like a heartbreaker <laughs> because she was on a show basically like The Bachelor and The Bachelor ended up choosing her to like propose to at the end of the show, like to be the one woman he chose, she says no. <laughs> and so America kind of like doesn't like her. She needs um, to get a job. So she ends up getting a job at this bakery where the hero, the hero owns this bakery and he is a football player, very famous football player. But when he's not playing football, um, when it's in off season, he owns a bakery. He runs a bakery that he's very passionate about. Like they were talking about the cupcakes in these in this book and I like was salivating. I wanted them so badly, like the different flavors and stuff. like. Oh my word. And oh, I love it. I love it so much. But anyway, the bakery is not really doing that well financially. He just needs more business coming in. Enter the heroine who gets hired to work there, like selling cupcakes on the front counter. And um, people start recognizing her. And people come from far and wide to see her, take pictures with her, basically talk to her about being on the show and stuff. And there even comes a point where the hero and the heroine have to fake date in order to get more publicity and get even more people in the door to get more money for the bakery. So it's a fake dating romance. The two of them don't start off on the right foot together. So um, yeah, this is a fun, witty, hot read with great, great, great baking aspects. Battle Royal by Lucy Parker is definitely an iconic one when it comes to like a baking romance. Sylvie was on essentially the Great British Baking Show of sorts in this book, in this universe. Dominic of the story was one of the judges, kind of like think of him as Paul Hollywood. <laughs> British baking. Um, but he was one of the judges and um, she gets voted off after one of her cakes kind of like explodes on him and herself and everybody. But people still really loved her on the show. She ends up getting her own bakery after the show even though she didn't win. She ends up getting her own bakery in London actually right across the street from the heroes. You can kind of see it on the cover but this is her bakery. It's like colorful, full of sparkles and um very much the opposite of Dominic's bakery which was like pristine white clean cakes anyway so very much opposites right you can even tell in how they're dressed the two of them actually start a competition of sorts kind of um because they really want to fulfill the role of making the royal wedding cake um the princess of their country is getting married and um the two of them are in the running to make the wedding cake so the two of them have to do like research to figure out what the prince and princess uh, princess and future prince would want on their wedding cake as like flavors or as um like decor and stuff on there so um they have to kind of like, like spend time together in their research and they figure out the other person isn't who they thought they were after they spend more time together like he thinks dominic thinks that sylvie is this like over the top loud like doesn't take life seriously whatsoever is completely chaotic woman whereas like Sylvie thinks that Dominic is this straight-laced, boring guy, but when they get to know one another, they think like, this person is completely different than what I assumed. So 
I really enjoyed this one as well. The baking aspect in here, fantastic. I loved reading about Sylvie and her bakery. It just looks so stinking fun. Kiss My Cupcake by Helena Hunting, one of my favorite books that I've read this year. I really loved it. The heroine of the story owns a cupcake cocktail bar where you can get cocktails and get delicious cupcakes that all oh, sound so good. Um, but the cupcake bar is right next door to like a sports bar where they just installed like some axe throwing where like the wall where the axes get like thrown into goes right up against one of her walls. So she keeps hearing like the bang, bang sound of like axes hitting the wall and she's not very happy about this. So she gets in a little bit of like battle of sorts with the owner's grandson who's like been redoing the bar next door. And so they kind of like played little tricks on each other to like ruin each other's businesses, but it doesn't actually ruin them. They know it won't actually ruin each other's businesses, but they're trying to like poke the bear essentially, poke each other. I love the hero in here because he comes in the bakery like almost every single day to bug the heroine, but also because he won't admit that he's absolutely obsessed with her cupcakes. Like he gets a new one every single day. He cannot get enough of them, but he won't admit it. He won't admit it. He will not admit it, but he'll 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 buy one. And he he wants to eat all of them. <laughs> So um, really cute, really sweet. I love these two so much. Like if you want enemies to lovers, no third act breakup, not enemies to lovers, more rivals to lovers, rivals to lovers, um, like neighboring businesses, um, such a fun read. Finding Jean Kelly by Tori Dean is another amazing read. Evie is the heroine of the story and she actually moved to Paris to fulfill her lifelong dream that she had with her grandmother to open up a bakery there. She's always wanted to open up a bakery in Paris. So she's been living in Paris for the past few years. Her best friend ends up visiting her in Paris, um, but ends up bringing along her like childhood enemy of sorts named Liam. And she's like, why is Liam here? I want to explain everything going on, but they have to fake date. I'll leave a summary at that because I don't want to spoil anything, but I really enjoyed this one. There's fantastic endometriosis representation. You have a pining hero who will absolutely do anything for his heroine. I love that part of the book, but I love... <sighs> I love her so much. I love Tori Jean because Tori Jean put a little bit of herself in this book with Evie. So like, I know that Tori Jean also loves baking. We've talked about baking before. I love baking. Um, so I just love the little tidbits of like passion she has for baking because I feel that in my soul. I feel it in my soul. If you want a monster romance, I have Muscles and Monsters by Ashley Bennett. This is about Tegan and Atlas. Tegan ends up meeting Atlas one day um, on the street. Also, this is a world where like humans and monsters like live together in harmony. Okay, so Atlas owns a gym and Tegan owns a bakery like down the sidewalk from him um and she's carrying one of her cakes to her car to deliver it when, a, when one of the layers like splats on the ground falls over like right in front of Atlas who's walking down the sidewalk he helps Tegan clean it up and right from the moment they meet each other's eyes like they're like transfixed they are like submitting and Tegan decides to uh actually join Atlas's gym she's like I kind of want to be stronger. Like I shouldn't have dropped that cake. Like, I want to get stronger, but actually also um, I have an ulterior motive. I want to, I want to see Atlas again. <laughs> so um, the two of them have like the sweet romance. I love Tegan and the passion she has for a little bakery. It was passed down to her from her mother. Uh, and yeah, I just love the baking aspects and Atlas loves the baking aspects as well. Okay. If you want a historical one, I have The Making of a Highlander by Lisa Braden. This is the first book in her Midnight in Scotland series. This one has a little bit of a brave reimagining to it. So um, if you love brave and you kind of like want it to be a romance, like I really enjoyed this one. The heroine of the story, she is the youngest daughter in a family full of like all boys. <laughs> this is her romance with like an Englishman who has moved to Scotland. Um, and she needs, she wants to get lessons to be like a lady because she thinks she needs to marry an English lord. And she asks the hero to do that. Annie is very, 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 very well known for her skills in the kitchen and baking, especially her bread. Like her family completely like loses their minds <laughs> when she bakes for them. And like she, she can like get people on her side and sway people just by mentioning like, ooh, I'll make you a loaf of bread. And they're like, oh my gosh, yes. Because she makes fantastic things. The rest of these books are all novellas. So first I have Two Scoops of Hellfire by Kimberly Lemming, the heroine of the story. Um, it's during COVID, during lockdown. She really wants to get into something like to do during lockdown. So she starts baking, but actually while she's baking, she ends up accidentally summoning a demon. And it's such a little short novella about her getting with this demon. <laughs> it's really funny, chaotic. It's a mess. They do stuff with the baked goods and stuff. <laughs> like It's really fun. Next I have two Cassie Mitt novellas. First is Big Baker. The heroine is a cleaning lady at a uh, hotel, I'm pretty sure. And she has been absolutely obsessed with the baker of the hotel. Like 
he makes these fantastic big goods. Um, and no one knows that she's actually this like underground secret artist who paints murals throughout the city. She paints one kind of like by his house to kind of say thank you. Um, but no one really knows that it's her and he's trying to figure out who the mural artist is. Um, but then actually also kind of like falling for the girl in the, um, the hotel. Like people will come like far and wide to this hotel to sp specifically get baked treats from like the hero made by the hero because he's like a fantastic baker. Lastly, I have Sweet Tooth by Cassie Mint. This is an age gap romance. The hero is kind of like a babysitter of sorts for a client of his, his daughter, I want to say. Um, she is in her late teens or early 20s. I can't remember, but she really wants to start up a cake pop business, cake pop business, goodness. Um, and so she's going to start off and figure out like her numbers and everything with her business by like selling first at just like one building and seeing how that goes and that's the building where the hero works so he's kind of like a babysitter of sorts to like watch over her while she's starting up the two of them don't really get off on the right foot when they meet each other but obviously fall in love um and they have some times in the office together um but i really liked like the cake pop aspect because you don't really see that a lot <laughs> i really liked that anyway so you have it those were romances with baking in them. I really enjoy these ones. They put like a huge smile on my face because I love baking so much. So yeah. Anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a cupcake or a cake emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.